Hello viewers, hope you all are well. Today we will see how you can install WordPress on your local host and how do you connect it to your domain. Today we will use Poxmox firmware to install WordPress. In this case, with Proxmox you can easily install and manage your local hosted WordPress. I am using a container to install WordPress inside Proxmox because it is very easy to install WordPress here through containers. Here are the preset templates. You can install WordPress directly from that template very easily. If you want to know more about this installation, we have another detailed video of this installation on our channel. Here you can see I am downloading the template what to download. If you have not downloaded the template, here I show you how to download the template. Now you can see my template is downloaded and I will try to install it via container. Let's see. Now I will create a container you can see on the top right side there is a button named Create City and after clicking on Create City you will see a new dialog box from there you will select the name of the container and root password After coming to this place you need to locate the downloaded template Then from here you have to create the configuration of your virtual computer. In my case, I will create it in a very minimal configuration. Here you must create this container with a static IP. If for some reason your router does not have a static IP, then here you will give an IP from the IP that your router is running through and reserve the IP that you give here from your router. Then you have to wait here for a while as the system will take some time to get ready Then you need to switch to your container and from there you need to click on the console. Upon arrival you will see your system is ready and some text messages will appear here. Now here you need to log into the root system. To log into the root system, first you need to enter the user at root, and then the password you created. While creating the container, you need to enter that password here. Here you need to create some password step by step with which you will log into your root system of WordPress. So you create some passwords as I show you step by step, and then you see how WordPress installs.
After creating all the passwords correctly, you will click on install here. Then you will start the main installation process here. It may take some time, so please wait patiently. You can now see that our WordPress is installed and the IPs it is installed on are showing here so let's hit these IPs and see if our installed WordPress is installed correctly. Viewers, you can see so far that we are able to install WordPress properly. So let's log into WordPress control panel and see if WordPress is working properly. When WordPress is installed, it doesn't have any theme installed. So in this case, we need to install a theme. There are many themes here. Let's install a theme from here and see how our WordPress looks. Now we will connect through one of my domain addresses, in which case I have already purchased the domain address and in that case we will take the help of Cloudflare to connect the IP to the domain address. In this case you will need a domain address and a Cloudflare account, through which you can bring your locally installed WordPress online through the domain. You will get a DNS after creating an account on Cloudflare. That DNS should be added through your domain's DNS records. Here you can see my WordPress running through an IP. 
This IP is from my internet service provider and they introduce it as public IP. If you want to bring your locally installed WordPress online through domain then you must have a public IP which you must get from your internet service provider. In some cases your internet service provider may charge you for it. In case your internet service provider provides it to you for free, You can see here I have bought a domain and I need to change the name server inside that domain. When you create a Cloudflower account from this name server, you will get two name server IDs from which you need to change the name server IDs here. Since WordPress is a local install it needs to be forwarded to a port number as it isn't a code number so it needs to be port forwarded directly with your IP as I am using Microtic router so I am forwarding my router from IP. And I set my public IP in Cloudflower's control panel. We're done and our WordPress is connected to our domain. Now you can see that our locally hosted WordPress is online via domain. In this way, you can easily install any application online or connect it through domain. If you like this video, then definitely support our channel by sharing like comment. If something is difficult to understand, then definitely try to know through our comments. I will try my best to help you.